Coraline, this book is fundamentally written for middle grade students. So, at no point ever had I envisioned that a book written for middle grade students can likewise creep me out. But we should never underestimate the writing style of Neil Gaiman and his storytelling capacity. He's awesome. I completed this book yesterday however even now I can't quit thinking Coraline. That itself talks a ton, doesn't it? Being brave means, you are scared, but you select to act anyway. Being brave does not mean you are not scared. These two lines can summarize the topic of Coraline. Coraline like exploring. Her new home is loaded up with secrets. Her neighbors are strange. But then one fine day, something calls her through the door that opens into only a wall. Coraline walked through the door which unexpectedly changes into a way and opens up into her another home where her other mother and father are waiting for her to go along with them. Her different parents need her to remain with them forever, for Coraline is excessively adventurous and clever for the real world to take in. Coraline discovers things off-putting and chooses to wander once again into the reality where she initially has a place. Things get disturbed when she discovers her own parents missing. Her other mother has captured her genuine parents for she love Coraline and needs her to remain with them. However, things are not as simple as the other mother believes it to be. Coraline is a fearless young girl who is consistently up for difficulties. Coraline will fight back, regardless of how awful things end up. I cherish this book. The dreamland where Coraline walked in, is engaging and appalling simultaneously and did I said how breathtakingly bold Coraline is? Adults like me should take lessons from her. If at any time there is one fictional character whom I will choose to be my closest companion, it would be Coraline.